Guyana is often referred to as a land of many waters, and deep within the jungle, you may find out one of the reasons why. If you're interested in Earth and Geography, don't forget to subscribe so you can learn about the world regularly. Kaichur Falls is one of the most incredible sites on Earth, so let's learn a little bit about it. In the Patero Siparuni region of Midwestern Guyana, the Patero River flows off the edge of a 2.2 billion year old rock to create the largest single drop waterfall in the world. The water plunges 226 meters down to the rocks below. The width of the falls is about 113 meters across. It's about four times taller than Niagara and two times taller than Victoria Falls. Technically, the falls are even taller when you include the series of cascades after the initial drop, bringing it to around 251 meters tall. Alongside its incredible height, it also boasts a huge volume of water that flows over the edge at 663 cubic meters per second, which is pretty incredible for a waterfall with only one drop. This fact can be further extended in the rainy season as the river's width and volume both grow a lot. After the water is gone over the massive drop, it empties into the Essequibo River, which is one of the longest and widest rivers in South America and the largest and most prominent in all of Guyana. It's the river that keeps Guyana connected. Kaichur is one of Guyana's top tourist attractions, and it, alongside the rainforest as a whole, are the main reason foreign tourists are coming to Guyana, to experience raw and untouched nature in the Amazon. On top of this, Guyana provides ecotourism which is less traveled and often lesser known than the Brazils and Venezuelas and whatnot. Therefore, people get a more real and unique experience than if they went elsewhere. In order to get to Kaichur Falls, most people book a tour and take a small propeller plane from Georgetown, which takes about an hour, and drops you off at Kaichur Airport, which serves the park and region. The airport is only about a 15 minute walk to the falls, and once at the falls, the tour starts. You'll be able to experience the raw beauty of the area with your local tour guide. Tanya Archer has a great vlog showing off the tour and whole experience, and I'm actually using a lot of her footage in this video, so I recommend people go check that out because it's a really great video and you can learn a lot, but we'll quickly go over the lookouts of the tour. There are three lookouts along the trail, each one getting closer to the falls. Boy Scout view, rainbow view, and breakout view. Notice the lack of barriers on each of the lookouts. This adds to the feeling of being in raw nature and makes for some pretty memorable experiences and pictures. Just be careful not to get too close to the edge. Kaichur National Park's area is 630 kilometers squared and was established in 1929 to obviously preserve the beauty and life within the region. It was a groundbreaking step for conservation as it was one of the first such acts in South America and the Caribbean. One can find all kinds of unique plants and wildlife in this area. This is part of the Amazon rainforest after all, one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. So now that we know about the geography, let's learn a little about the history of the falls and the surrounding area as well. As I said before, Kaichur lies within the Putero Siparuni region or region number 8 of Guyana. There are many Amerindian tribes that have inhabited Guyana's borders for hundreds if not thousands of years, and many of these tribes still remain today. Within this region, you'll mostly find members of the Patamona tribe. The legend of where the falls got their name comes from a Patamona chief named Kai, who, in an effort to appease a great spirit, he rode over the edge and sacrificed himself to save his tribe. Tour means falls in a local dialect, and this is where the falls got their name. Most of the Amerindian people today have assimilated into Guyanese society, however there are still some traditional societies that inhabit the jungles and are protected by the modern government. So that's Kaitra Falls, an incredible wonder of the world which has interested me since I was a child. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow quite a bit. Leave a comment of where you're from and where you'd like to see me cover next. Have an amazing day and always keep exploring.